Hello, my name is Phil Ledent, and I represent the Masonry Institute of Michigan. And in today's short video segment, we are going to talk about how we can estimate grout volume for masonry construction. And to do that, we will use NCMA Techno 09-04A, which is grout for concrete masonry. And if you scroll down here, they have table two, which is grout volume estimation based on hollow construction with different grout spacings. And I created this into a little Excel tool. So if we go to tools and resources on our MIM webpage here, and we scroll down, oops, I'm sorry. If we go to our masonry toolkit here on our MIM website and scroll down, we have this grout volume estimation over here on the right. And if you download that, it's a little Excel sheet that'll open up. And in that Excel sheet, we can specify our nominal width of our CO2 CMU. And so if we select 12 inch block, and we have a grout spacing of hopefully wider than 16 inches on center because we're in Michigan. So let's say we have 96 inch on center spacing. So an engineer that really attended a lot of MIM webinars and knows to space that reinforcement out. We have normal eight inch height units. We are allowed to select four or eight here. And we have normal length block, 16 inch block. This will calculate for us our base area and the area of 100 units and it'll give us an estimate of our grout volume. So you'll have five cubic feet of grout, which will go about 100 square foot of wall, or about 0.2 cubic yards per 100 square foot of wall. Or if we wanted to know how far we can go with 100 units, we would need about 0.16 cubic yards to go 100 units. And if we wanted to look at it the other way, the number of blocks per cubic yard we could go, with again, 12 inch block with rebar at 96 inches on center, we could go about 600 units with one cubic yard of grout. And like I mentioned below, I mean, this tool is developed specifically based on NCMA Tech 09-04A. We do have included an allowance for waste, uh, but if we have a lot of horizontal grouting in our wall, maybe bond beams, things like that, additional grout may be necessary. Uh, but just wanted to show you this quick tool that is available on our website. Again, that is masoneryinfo.org. And if you go to our masonry toolkit, it is available here on the right-hand side, grout volume estimation. So thanks for listening. Reach out with any questions.